Welcome to this Nugget series on Project Plus Certification. Specifically, the PK0-003 certification, often referred to as the 09 edition, which is the latest edition of Project Plus Certification. Before we get into the details of the Project Plus Certification exam itself, I wanted to spend just a few moments with you outlining what is project management. And I'm only going to spend a few minutes because I really expect you all have a solid understanding of what project management is. If you were not well versed in project management, you probably wouldn't be going for the Project Plus certification. But my definition of project management, and that's consistent with the, the PMI PMBOK, the Project Management Body of Knowledge um, definition of project management, as well as really the general industry standard definition of what project management is, and I'm sure it's very consistent with yours. Your project is successful if it's on time. If your project was stated that it was going to take six months to complete, then completing your project on time means that you've completed your project somewhere in the five and a half month to, let's say, a six and a half month range. When we refer to, or at least when I refer to being on time, on budget, on scope, I often refer to as an ish. So when I say the project is on time, original forecast was it was going to take six months. If we've successfully delivered the project somewhere in a five and a half to a six and a half month window, I consider that to be fairly successful. Similarly for budget. If the project was forecast to, to be delivered for $50,000 and we've delivered it for $48,000 or even it may be as much as $52,000, again, to me, that's well within the bounds of ish and well within the confines of being de determined to be a satisfactory, successful budget. On scope really means to specification. And this one is certainly much harder to measure. You can't say to specification um, and measure it as well as you can measure the calendar or the time. So what does to specification mean? It means the person that the project is being delivered for is satisfied with the results. And even sometimes it's hard to measure satisfaction with results versus being on scope, because if the project was determined to deliver A, B, and C functionality on startup, and halfway through the project, it was determined that we really don't need B, we need a E functionality, the project is still successfully delivered if we delivered with A, B, and C, but the person getting the project may not be as satisfied because they made an error in the definition of the original scope, thought it was a B, but it turns out it's closer to an E. And we have a thing called scope management or change control to help us work through those changes as we go through. So again, generic definition of what project management is. I'm sure very consistent with your expectations, is it's on time, on budget, to specification, or as I've written down, on scope. So with that definition of project management, let's spend a few more moments and explore what is a project. And my definition of a project is it's temporary, it's undertaken for a specific purpose, it has a defined beginning and end, and it requires resources. This definition of a project is taken from PMI and from the PMBOK guide. The Project Management Institute, Project Management Body of Knowledge. PMI, the PMBOK guide, is an international standard for PM. Now, you may be saying, why is he spending so much time talking about the PMBOK in a Project Plus certification? I'm not doing my PMP. I'm doing my Project Plus. Well, 
whether you're going for Project Plus or not, you're following the international standard for project management and the Project Plus certification still has a lot of foundation on the PMI PMBOK guide. Now I'm only going to do a few references to the PMBOK guide in this introductory nugget. After that we will focus very much on the specific applications required for Project Plus. But as we work through this introduction, again, I will continue to draw on the PMBOK. And I just wanted to make that, that point clear. I understand this is a Project Plus certification. So what is a project? A project is temporary. What does temporary mean? It means it has a defined duration. It may be five hours for a very, very, very short project. It may be five days. It may be five months. It may even be five years. And a five-year project is still deemed to be temporary. The project was undertaken to achieve our next definition, which is a specific purpose, and the project will cease to exist in five years when that specific purpose has been completed, delivered, satisfied. So the next definition of a project is it has a specific purpose. It has a unique requirement that the project is going to solve, remove, satisfy, pick the word that you like. Now, when I say it has a unique requirement, that's for the project. If we have a five-year project, that re unique project is going to be large and complex and may have a number of facets to it, but it still has the specific purpose for which it was undertaken. Very consistent with the, the definition of temporary, a project has a beginning and an end. It has a start date and it has a published end date. It's our job as a project manager to try to achieve the end date and complete the project as close to the end date as possible. And we discussed that in, in, in the introductory already. And we often need to use change management when the scope of the project changes. And again, we will talk about this much more in, in the future nuggets in this series. But it's important to recognize that as a project manager, we need to strive to achieve that end date and complete our project as close to the end date as possible. And the final definition of a project is it requires resources. It may require human resources. It may require technical resources. It may require physical resources. It may require other types of resources. And you may say, well, that's standard. Everything that happens in business requires people. People require, I'm going to oversimplify here, technology. We need computers. Now, I know there are many jobs that don't need computers, but jobs require computers. Jobs require physical. They need desks. They need telephones. They need et cetera, et cetera. So why is this unique for a project? It's not. But the uniqueness for a project in the resource area is focused on the fact that the project is temporary, has a beginning and end, which means we need to ramp up the resources, the humans, the technology, the physical, and we need to ramp down or be prepared to release our resources back to the organization. Continuing on our overview of what project management is and continuing on using the PMBOK guide as the international standard for project management, we'll explore what the PMBOK guide says is project management. And the PMBOK guide says there are nine disciplines for project management. And these are the nine. Scope, time, cost, quality, human resources, communications, risk, and procurement. And the ninth 
is the integration of the four of them into a consolidated, concise, day-in, day-out approach to project management. So let's explore each one of these nine disciplines in a little more detail. The first three, scope, time, and cost, we've already discussed in this introductory nugget. Scope is delivering what it is that the sponsor for the project wanted and only what it is that the project sponsor requested. F doing good scope management is critical to completing our project successfully and the, the key facet to that is making sure we do a good definition of what it is that we want and then during delivery we ensure that we're only delivering the original specifications for the project. Time management is delivering it on schedule and again I'll throw that ish in there. If the project was undertaken to be completed in five months we deliver it in five months. If the project was undertaken to be completed in three and a half years, we complete it in three and a half years. And cost, again, is delivering to the defined budget for the project. If it was a $50,000 project, we delivered it very close to $50,000. Now, as we explore the other areas from the PMBOK guide that we haven't touched already, quality. Quality is a key aspect to successful project management. It's not just delivering what it is that the customer wanted, but it's delivering it at a level of quality that makes it usable. And if you think of a physical aspect, you had a project to paint a room. So the scope was what? Paint the room. But if the quality of the paint job is poor, and you didn't have full coverage of the walls. Well, is it usable? Probably not, because your expectation was a nice uniform paint job. Or if the quality of the paint job was so poor that there was paint all over the floor, and not only did you paint the walls, but you also painted the windows and various other aspects, you may have completed the scope of the project called painting the room, but the quality resulted in, or the lack of quality, resulted in a non-usable project. So we as project managers need to have a high focus on ensuring that our quality is appropriate. We've touched already a little bit on human resources in the resource aspect, but again, project management, and especially for most projects where you're focused on Project Plus certification, is typically going to be IT projects, we often have a lot of unique characteristics managing IT people. Um, so we will look at motivational theories for IT people. We will look at um, management theories, but we will look at various aspects for human resources management to make sure that we have an effective, cohesive team focused on completing the project. Communications. Communicate. Communicate. Communicate communicate, and if you're not sure the message is delivered, is clear, communicate again. Now, that may seem very dull and mundane. Of course, I'm going to communicate status, but often with projects, we don't spend enough time and effort on communications. We need to make sure all participants all stakeholders, everyone who's interested knows about our project. And with good effective communications, communicate, 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 make sure the message is clear to all participants, all stakeholders, everybody interested, they know about the project, then they're engaged and they're willing to help you be successful. That's the key to communications, is full, open, frank, honest communications to all of the participants so that we keep them engaged and we keep them willing to help when we have project delivery challenges. Risk management 
is a key aspect.